I have mail today. Super excited first. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though. Wanna hang with me? The love date. We're gonna be doing two videos a week. I'm trying to get my schedule together. I have um, a book release coming out in in, sorry, in the fall. So I have a lot of that to be done. But check out this. Oh, I probably should have opened that on camera better because it's actually packaged super cute. Okay, so I ordered my stuff from Canva. They're, but these are my business cards. These are specifically like my author and creator business cards. So they come with these cute little stickers on my laptop. And just a little thank you card. Which is cute. And check this out right here. It's like packaged within a box. I have gotten expensive items less safely packaged than my business cards are. I'm so excited. So basically it's the same thing that is on my... Um, YouTube channel banner. But this is it. Nunchi Goya. Um, it didn't, it said that the bleed was gonna end here, which is why it's cut off there. So I'm not super happy about that, but I can exist with it. And there is the back. Um, again, the vault looked like it was gonna be a little bit bigger on my proof. And it came out kind of small. The whole thing kind of looks more scaled down than the proof look. So I'm not crazy about that. I'm not. Um, super upset about it because I think I only looked like 50 of them and they were like <sighs> I think they were like 16, 15 or 18 dollars one of those but yeah so I am crazy excited about these the color is not 100% accurate but again not super upset about it um, that's not that important to me on this part because it's my it's my author and it's my um, social media creator um, business cards so I can hand these out and if you look right there that QR code takes you right to my little uh, link tree thing that takes you to everything so you can see my books you can see what I'm about so no matter what I hand you this card for um, it kind of leads to everything so super excited about these such a cute box oh my god I love that box is cute I'm gonna keep them in this box this is cute I'll have to make something to put those cards in eventually so that I can carry them around safely with me. They don't just getting damaged or anything. Um, but that was the first thing up. Uh, so this, we are going to start, like I was saying, we are going to start doing two videos a week at least. Uh, my goal is to start moving up to three videos a week, but I'd like to do at least two. And that is because I would like to do one bookish, book related, book two um, video and one author two video because I like to keep things secret. I'm actually very good at keeping secrets and pretty much it's kind of my biggest flex. Um, but I have come to the conclusion that I am not yet popular enough to gain and garner attention through secrets. So every Sunday we're going to post the author, I think, video. Or it will be uh, Wednesday. One of those days will be the author videos or the writer videos. And it'll be like writing vlogs and like everything I'm doing to prep for my new release. So um, on that note, I got an ARC copy from somebody else. And I'm so excited. I got the first book on audiobook. I kind of tore it up taking it out. But here's the packaging. So cute. Got her, her name on it. Their name on it. Or not, the, not their name, sorry. This is the name of the book. So the second book right here is called Thine Eyes of Mercy. And I'm in the middle of the first book because I wanted to read the first book first. But this one I got sent um, free by the author. This is a little card. Super excited. I got the handwritten note. I freaking love handwritten notes so much. I don't know why. Like, I love seeing everybody else's handwriting. And you can tell a lot from handwriting. So, I went through a brief phase where I like to analyze handwriting. And so, when I see it, I don't remember a ton, but I do remember enough that certain handwritings give me a certain feeling about people. And I imagine that's probably rooted in when I was obsessively learning about it. But this is the bookmark that goes with it. It's so cute. Love the map on the back and the cup on the front. So cute. I imagine this is her friend. Lady. Yeah. And then only one queen will reign supreme queen or the court of life. So there is that that also came in it. 
I'm trying to put everything backwards where it was because I know sometimes authors will mark certain pages for a certain reason. So I'm going to be doing a, writing, a reading vlog on this. So super excited, unpackaging, and we're going to head jump straight to this video because this is going to be my first real author video. And it, it is going to be author to author newbie questions to, um, I don't know what it's called. Hold on. Oh, something else I got in this was this little stone. So cute. Such a cute little bag. I love the way she packaged it. Made it so cute and easy to sense. It's not crazy um, on her budget either because uh, publishing books is pretty expensive um, when you put everything together. And I actually, I didn't know I was going to get sent a physical copy. I really thought I was going to just get sent an ebook copy. So, which I don't know why I did because they asked my address. So I should probably be more careful with my address up too. But super excited for this. This is going to be a vlog in by itself. Um, author to newbie tag is what this video is about. Um, so I'm going to read the list of questions like any kind of tag video and answer them in relation to me. First question is, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I found out about AuthorTube through um, when I first started being interested into, not first started, because I was interested in self-publishing back in the day when I was like 16 years old. Um, but I rediscovered it when I was watching Bethany, I can't think of her name off the top of my head right now, but I'll, her stuff here. Um, I started watching her videos and how she is going to uh, go through all this stuff to be published. Not to be published. She is published. She's an indie author and she's a very successful indie author. She's hit the one million mark. What I strive to be, literally. Anyway, um, that was kind of kind of stumbled across her videos while I was doing a bunch of research on to successfully publish my own book, which was a collection of short stories at the time. So my first story was a collection of short stories. It is right up here. If you want to go check it out, I'll link it below. Um, but that was the first book I published. And uh, all the research I was doing for that book was basically what led me to author two. What genres do you write in? I unexpectedly released my first two novels as contemporary. I labeled them contemporary romance because there's a strong romantic element in them. However, they're not 100% about the romance because I don't think in either of the stories the people that ended up together would have ended up together or stayed together if given other choices. So, and um, those two were new adult and contemporary. One was contemporary coming of age, university um, setting book. Uh, and study abroad. So that was London Boy. And then every reason I loved her was a romantic tragedy, is more so what I would call it. Um, but it's more so about standing on your own feet than the romantic element in and of itself. Um, so that's as far as publishing go. I have always written YA before that. And I always wrote fantasy adventure, and that was for my first venturing into a contemporary, that kind of story. So, um, yeah, uh, paranormal as well. I would like to write in middle grade at some point. Um, I think I need to hone my middle grade skills a little better because I think I, I turn everything a little bit too, not necessarily too dark, but I do deal with heavy topics in my books. And at the beginning of those books, there are trigger warnings. BTW. Um, I'm gonna say I'd like to kind of get into middle grade because early reading is just so essential. And had I not found the books that I found in that pre YA era of mine, I might not have fallen in love with reading as hard as I did. I had always liked to read, but there's this span of time that I hit that all of a sudden I was in love with reading. And so uh, just as a future goal of mine, I would like to be that same kind of um, literary awakening um, that somebody else was for me. Question number three. What is your preferred writing tense, point of view, and category of story? So the category story is in reference to like children's, middle grade, YA, new adult, adult. That's what that is. I tend to favor first person 
point of view for most of my stories, but I will kind of depend on what story is being told, what I want the reader to know, and um, if there's any secrets that I want the reader and somebody else to know, but not the main character to know, or one of the main characters. So I do a dual perspective for that, um, but I do usually follow, or I usually kind of default to first person present tense. Um, I am not opposed to the other perspectives or tenses. Back in the day, I used to exclusively write in third person. I can tell because of the books I was reading at the time. Because I started writing when I was like six. And so a lot of my early habits were developed from the early books I read. Right. Question four. Are you a pantser, a plotter, or a pantser? Um, I would say I am more on the water side now, but I am naturally a pantser. Um, I don't want to say plantser just because, like, I don't say plantser just because I do a lot of plotting now. I almost, I bullet point chapters by chapter guide to what's going to happen in the story. So sometimes my um, outlines are anywhere between probably 15 and 40,000 words. Um, so it's basically a really rough, rough, no details kind of draft. And I just kind of go through and write that. However, I am not 100% stuck on what I've written down. So I won't, if something changes later and I have to take out a scene already, it's kind of like having my first draft already done and this is just the rewrite because I can pick and choose what scenes I want and what scenes to get rid of and see what's working and what is not. Question five. All right, self-published, published, or yet to be published. I am self-published at this time. There are some works of mine that I would like to attempt traditional publishing, publishing with and just kind of see where it goes. But I also don't think I write stories that are typically published traditionally. Question number six is, what publishing company, literary agent, or a printing company are you represented by or you? Um, I'm self-publisher. I use um, Barnes & Noble Press as well as Amazon, and I'm going to get the Indie Spark just because people can order the books and have them in bookstores, so I super would like to do that. Question number seven is, what author to related videos can we expect to find on your channel? So like I had kind of mentioned in the beginning of this, I would like to include more of the in-process work and the getting together thing. So I can also not only be transparent about my process and share that journey with you guys, but also to help other people that may be looking into indie publishing and might need the help that I needed a lot. And so I'd like to share tips on what I've done and what I am going to be doing and all the prep work that goes into getting your novel out there by your own hand, but not any less than, than a traditional published author. So I do have an editor. I am waiting for book one of my next series coming out. I'm waiting for book one to come back so I can do my rewrites and everything and um, then I'll send back another round. So all the same steps, just individually hired and done. On that note, I will also be doing promo boxes for this series coming out and I'm crazy excited about them. And I'd like to kind of keep you guys in the loop of the process that that's going to take. It's going to undergo as well. So you can see the making, the beginning to end, and um, those interested in purchasing the promo boxes because I will have the promotional boxes available for sale as well as send a few out to my fellow booktubers and authors, um, which will be spoken more on later. Ooh. Question eight, when did I start writing? I have been writing since I was six, six or five or six. I started, like, I learned to read and write before I went to school and as I gained. And mind you, these stories were very simple, okay? But the next question is, um, what was the first story you ever wrote? Um, it was a comic, it's a mini comic that I folded the paper into and I wrote the most basic plot line to imagine for a superhero cat story. That was my first story. 
and the next one after that was a superhero who was sent to Earth. She was about, you know, princess of her planet came to Earth uh, to live to know who she was that had these powers and then using them to save the town. Um, yeah, those are my first stories. And a uh, super in depth uh, Dragon Ball Z fan fiction that actually is still going on today because people ended up reading it. I posted on Fanfiction for Fun and got over a few hundred thousand views on it. And so here we are. 10. What authors have inspired you the most? Marlene Perez. The Dead Is series. Put that up here. Um, got me through so much as a child. I can't even express. Um, the other one is the Gallagher Girl series, as well as High Society. I know it's said authors, but this is by the same author. And when I say it fulfilled all of the uh, family I did not have to support me when I was a child, this this did it. That got me through high school. What the coolest thing in the world was the last book came out the same year I graduated, and it was the same year they graduated. So that was the coolest thing ever. So the graduation speech at the end by one of the main characters was just the coolest experience in the world to read that and be like, ha, and also just graduated. So this feels really ultra for me. So it was kind of cool to feel like I was growing up with them and we graduated at the same time, which was just, that felt really cool. And question 11, do you schedule your writing time? Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you find time? I personally, my downtime is writing, so I don't necessarily make myself work on something I don't want to work on if it's for downtime, but I pretty much write whenever I can, whenever I'm off work, whenever I'm not doing homework, whenever, you know, I get a chance, but I also do try to schedule, especially if I tend to bulk work, so I will write most of my novels within two to four weeks, at least the first draft, and I will schedule, like, I want to get X amount of words done a day for the next four weeks so I'll schedule like an hour or two for writing in the morning and then an hour or two writing after I get off of work just to make sure I'm on track with my word counts and I kind of keep myself on these strict schedules because as I delve deeper into my author career I understand that these deadlines have to be kept and so if I'm already in the habit of it it's not going to be as rough. Sorry this is a monster here just just a little She's chewing on my finger right now. Question 12. Do you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those, and where do you write in general? My laptop. Most of my work is on my laptop. However, I will write scenes and notes on sticky notes while I'm at work, so I don't forget something if it's like, I'm super inspired at work. I am fortunate enough that my co-workers and my manager knows that I write and so she doesn't seem to mind obviously as long as not that taking two hours to write if I jot some notes down I write out a scene real quick. Question 13. What are you most looking forward to now that you're part of Author 2? Um, mostly I'm really looking forward to getting some community, some connection, helping other authors in any way that I can. Um, either through purchasing books and providing reviews and giving them advice on things that I have already come across even as a um, newbie author. I am going to, technically this is my second year of publishing, so I've published two novels, a collection of short stories, and um, a Christmas short companion novel to London Boy. Um, I'd love to partner and promote and just kind of engage with the community and kind of form our own She's being monster right now. Just kind of conform. Just kind of form our own little um, society of authors and writers aspiring to be and make what we love our job. Technically, that's all the questions, but I would like to add one more question. And if you are watching this video, you're interested in this, uh, I tag you in it just by default. Tag me in your video or come back and comment down below when you've made your author 2 video and I would be more than happy to go and watch it and support you as an author and as a fellow coach in this literary world. Alrighty, so the question I am adding to this is what are you working on right now? 
and whether that be publishing, editing, or promotion, or just general goals. I am working on my series coming out in the fall, as well as a Wattpad story that, which is available free, because I would like to become a Wattpad star, that is one of my goals, and I would also like to enter the Wattpad oh. this year. <laughs> what? What word would you like to have with me, ma'am? Um, as well as just a ton of promotional materials I have to get done for my store, my series. So, yeah, that is it for me today. Uh, sorry this came out a lot longer than I thought I was going to, but if you made it this long, I'll go ahead and share this. This is some author news. These are my book plates. Uh, this was just a printed practice copy of it. Essentially, they're going to be stickers that I can sign and send when people order my books so they don't have to order a book directly from me and worry about the shipping of a whole book and instead I can just send a letter with these in it. So that's sick. That's cool. That's exciting. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are a fellow author, comment your book down in the comments. I would love to go see it and I'd like to start a segment on my YouTube channel where I review specifically indie books. I have a couple on my list already. I do prefer signed copies. So um, I love it if you have the link to uh, purchase a signed copy, I'd prefer that. Or if you have book plates, I can order your book off of Amazon or Barnes and Noble and order the book plate from wherever it is you sell those from. So fantastic hanging out with you today. You have a great night, day, evening, and I will see you next time. Peace. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play, though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of